You're watching From the Heart with John Willard. Hi friends, John Willard here. Another great show, Asking, Playing It Safe with a big question mark. And remember the subscribe button below for CNA TV. It's cold in the Ozarks, but the hot apple cider, mm-mm, it tantalizes the senses. As sunrise breaks into daylight, I smile. One more sip of apple cider, and my day will begin. I'm glad to have had these moments. I'm thankful for the peace of this morning. My opening thought. Mistakes are part of the dues one pays for a full life. Friends, when I think of playing it safe, I think of a backwoods farmer sitting on the steps of his tumble-down shack. He was approached by a stranger who stopped by for a drink of water. How's your wheat coming along? asked the stranger. Didn't plant none. Really? I thought this was good wheat country. Afraid it wouldn't rain. Oh well, how's your corn crop? Ain't got none, said the farmer. Didn't you plant any corn either? Nope, afraid of corn blight. <laughs> For heaven's sake, said the stranger. What did you plant? Nothing, said the farmer. I just played it safe. Anyone who has to make decisions cannot escape the tension, the emotional strain that's involved. Nor can they just play it safe by avoiding decisions. Inability to cope with this basic fact of life has stopped many people short of their real potential. If you're feeling low, don't despair. The sun has a sinking spell every night, but it comes back up every morning. If you want the rainbow, you have to put up with the rain. Rainbows are beautiful, but it takes both rain and sunshine to create one. It's the same with life. In most lives, there are dark and bright spots. There's joy and sorrow. The few people who have never known adversity invariably don't have lives that are as rich and satisfying as those who have. If you can handle it, adversity makes you stronger. It also makes you a kinder and more empathetic person. At the end of a life without adversity, it's hard to find a rainbow. My closing thought. We cannot control the tragic things that happen to us. But we can control the way we face up to them. Well, friends, it's feeding time for the pups, Cora Mae and Bubba, 
So I'll let you go. As always, you can reach me on Twitter at JohnWillard47. We'll see you next week, friends. Until then, this is John Willard from the farm.